at this point and then back in and then the tips of the hair probably should curl it up okay so again I've gone so that would be back this would be up So I have to imagine in my head what the, you know, and it's, it's a lot of imagination here. In curly hair, it's just wild. I have naturally curly hair and I painted myself a few times because I just started straightening it about, about three years ago, four years ago. And it's, and when I did my hair, I mean, I got lots of practice in curly hair. <laughs> So, um, so I'm going to go for some darker colors, some duller colors. So actually I want to go high, lighter in the highlights. So I'm going to come up into the, I'm going to start building the shape of the curl. So it's like a ringlet. Gonna pull up the end of that area. It's kind of pulled back. It's not quite. Am I holding you back? Do you need to go? What I'm hearing, cleaning up. <laughs> no. Some of us never. Uh, huh? Oh, I never even unpacked. Oh, okay. That's okay. No, so this is great. This is. This is. So I have a question on, you chose a green uh, base paper. Uh -huh. why, why did you do that? Or was it just what you had available? Would you normally have done that? Yes. Um, yes. And it was yes, yes, and yes. It was what I had available. I did have some other choices. It's a medium value. So I'm looking for something in between the lights and the darks. I have worked on dark. I've worked on light. Um, I just like the medium value to start off with because it, it can help me to, you know, to build easier. If I was doing this on white, it would be 10 times harder. So starting somewhere in the middle as my base really helps. So green, gray, or blue, kind of a medium, medium. Even reds in the medium values, I don't mind. Um, just a middle value. I do like dirtier colors. I don't like the bright brights. I, I, when I said red, I pictured a uh, burgundy kind of color. And I was going, what is that? Oh, it's a ear. Um, it's a ear in there. Yeah, so that's a good question.